What's up, my fellow prodigies? Prodigy Jay here. Just call me Jay. And today, I'm gonna show you guys the top five best headphones for under fifty dollars. Because I know some people have trouble picking out nice quality headphones. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to go subscribe and turn on notifications. Because I do like to upload quality videos for to enjoy. And go follow me on Twitter while you're at it. And shout out to Lagmaster for the classy comment in my previous video. But leave a comment in the video, you have a chance to get a shout out. And guys, let's see if we get seventy likes in today's video. Because I do appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. And just for a disclaimer, all these headphones were picked out based on my opinion. On what would be the best value for your money when buying a pair of quality budget headphones. And just a quick side note, I do not own all these headphones, but instead I make sure to research every single item as I don't want to pick out headphones at random. And plus, if I did buy every single pair of headphones in this video, there would be a dent in my bank account. So yeah, I would appreciate it if I got that YouTube money off this video, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah. Now for our first pair of headphones, we got the Samsung SR850 Semi Open Back Studio headphones going for about $33 right now on Amazon. Now we'll get into the features of these wired headphones they have over ear design for a nice comfy fit over the ears and feature 50 millimeter drivers for a wide dynamic range now i must mention that compared to the other headphones these headphones have open back ear cups instead of normal closed back ear cups which means that any sounds that you're listening to will get easily leaked from the ear cups so i wouldn't really recommend watching any of your favorite um special videos unless you're home alone so yeah which these headphones are recommended for indoor use since the sound bleeds out but a fair amount of people do like open back headphones like these mostly because it makes music sound more realistic and sound more of an open sound stage but do note that if you have any ambient noise going on around you you will hear it compared to a pair of closed back headphones that dampen outside noises now for the sound quality on the samson they provide excellent sound quality with a solid bass response ultra clear highs and just in general provide a rich sound with a 10 hertz to 30 kilohertz for frequency response and the headphones come to be one fourth inch gold plated adapter. I only need to plug the headphones into an audio interface if you have one, and it also comes with a one eighth inch adapter for normal use like phones, laptops, mobile devices, and more. But one of the downsides to these headphones is that the cable cannot be removed, which is a fairly common thing for most studio headphones. But in the end, these headphones are going to provide nice audio quality despite them costing less than $50. Now, for our next pair of headphones, we got the Edifier W800BT Bluetooth headphones going for about $40 right now on Amazon. And the reason I chose a pair of Bluetooth headphones is because you have the option to go wired or wireless with them and these headphones have over ear cups that are closed back letting you have that nice bit of noise isolation and not be disturbed by outside noises also these headphones feature 40 millimeter drivers giving you impressive sound quality from amazing bass tones to your ear plus these headphones have a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz which is basically the norm for most headphones there are also on ear controls that let you adjust the volume and playback of your music without having to reach for your connecting device and these headphones are built for comfort as they are made for a lightweight frame and best of all after one full charge these headphones provide up to 35 hours of music playtime and a standby time of 800 hours when not in use. And the charge time of these headphones takes about 3 hours in total, which is a good deal as you do have 35 hours of music playtime. And just a quick side note, unless your PC has Bluetooth installed or has a Bluetooth adapter plugged in, the wireless feature of these headphones will not work. Moving on, I did some more research and I found a pair of quality headphones that aren't really known and they're called the C-Drive Studio headphones going for about $41. Now the thing that stuck out to me about these headphones is how they had the biggest audio drivers out of the top 5 headphones I picked, which you have 53 millimeter drivers that allow the headphones to have a frequency response of 16 hertz to 28 kilohertz, which is a more wider range than most normal headphones. Also, these headphones were designed to have rich, natural distortion free sound, which is ideal for recording, mixing, or just listening to your favorite music, which the over ear cups will help black out most of the external noise. But overall, I'm sure that you would enjoy these headphones as they deliver rich sound and are ultra comfortable with its padded lightweight design. Now for our fourth pair of headphones, we got the Blue Ant Wireless headphones going for about $50 on Amazon, which I gotta say that these headphones, I have them right now and I honestly love them. Mostly on the fact that they are Bluetooth headphones, allow me to use them wired or wirelessly, and if I am using them wirelessly, they provide up to 30 hours of playback from one full charge. And the sound quality from these headphones is just amazing as they do provide nice quality bass and clear highs. And also, the headphones have a nice folding design so you can easily store them in the hard protective case that you give the headphones, which the case itself is pretty good quality and I'd be surprised if my headphones took any damage while being inside the case because it's really durable. 
also on the right side of the headphones, there are one touch controls that allow you to change the volume or playback of your music while in Bluetooth mode. Also, the ear cuffs are sweat proof as these headphones are advertised as workout headphones, but honestly, you can use these headphones for normal day to day use because of how good the sound quality is. But in the end, if you're looking for a pair of headphones that are comfy and provide heavy bass, then the Blue Ant headphones are the way to go. Now, for our last pair of headphones, we got the well known pair of Audio Technica ATH M20Xs going for $50 right now on Amazon. Now, it's kind of hard to argue against these headphones because of the nice build quality and the amazing sound you get from the 40mm drivers, but the only thing that would probably make someone not buy these headphones is the fact that the audio cable cannot be removed and the cable is kind of long, black, lengthy, protracted, kind of wiggly. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> the cord is 10 feet long, okay? But besides that, these headphones are pretty good for its price as they are recommended by a lot of YouTubers for a starter pair of headphones. But getting to the features of these headphones, they offer excellent sound isolation due to the over-ear cups that go around the ears, which is pretty useful in loud environments. They have a durable design with the ear cups being soft and comfy. And finally, the sound quality is described to be phenomenal as these headphones emphasize the highs and lows clearly in music with the frequency response of 15 to 20,000 hertz. Now, again, I will have to mention that these headphones are meant to be used in a studio, but you can to use these at home or whatever but would kind of doubt on using these in public since the cord to these headphones is pretty long as i said before but also these headphones are not collapsible so you will have to get a headphone rack for these headphones and last but not least the headphone comes with a one fourth gold plated adapter allowing you to plug the headphones into an audio interface if you have one but after going over all these headphones all i gotta say is that you're going to get a good deal no matter what pair of headphones you choose because in the end it all comes down to personal preference and this video was kind of hard to make since there are a ton of different headphones out there available under 50 dollars but I tried my best to pick up the top 5 headphones that I thought would be the best value for your money. And the best part about this is that there's always going to be a different pair of headphones out there that you might consider buying since there are a crap ton of options out there. But before I end off the video, I do want to mention that since all these headphones were mentioned from Amazon, the prices are always subject to change and certain products may run low in stock depending on the time and date. So I would recommend getting whatever items you want as fast as possible before the prices or stock changes for the worst. But I think that's going to wrap it up and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But if you guys can, drop a like, I do appreciate the support and go follow me on Twitter because I do like the tweet out daily. Also, if you guys can, comment down below what type of headphones you have currently and what's your dream pair of headphones because I want to hear what you guys had to say. I'm going to do love responding to everyone's says comments. And also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to go subscribe and turn on notifications because I do like to upload quite a few videos for me to enjoy. But anyways, thanks for watching. Let's see if we get 70 likes in today's video. Now subscribe for more quality content in the future and like always, stay classy.